hello everyone so today we are going to work on this map widget so as you can see here uh, when I press M the global map appears and you can see these uh, checkpoints this home checkpoint A and B and also the this one is player character these are enemy characters you can see them in the map so if I remove the map by pressing M again uh, and if I open again you can see all these player location and this moving character locations are also updated and these are not in the same location because they are checkpoints they are not moving but if they move at uh, somehow they moves they will also change the location so the map updates dynamically so that's what we are going to work on today this uh, map uh, so yeah as you can see this mini map this is something we worked on previously so i am going to continue with the same project that doesn't mean you have to have watched all the mini map tutorials but i am going to reuse some of the icons and some functionalities some blueprint parts from the mini maps too so yeah let's see how to implement this map today right so this is the same uh, project that i worked on this mini map so it is functioning well and now i want to work on implement a large map so let's say for example when i press m a larger map appears and we see the whole world map not just this mini map so right how can we do that okay so in order to do that first let's create a new widget from widget blueprint use a widget or we can select it here also WDG map right now here I'll add the canvas panel and then an image so here as the image I'll use this map image and let's set the size to it's not exactly square but I think a square size would work how about Let's set the anchors to meet alignment point five by point five. Right now here we see the whole map and so in this world map this corner is three thousand Y and 3500 x is 3000 y is 3500 that's this top left in here and uh, this corner is 0 by 0 so 3000 to 3500 is the ratio so if I make the size x thousand, then this one should be thousand divided by three thousand multiplied by three thousand five hundred. So this is the number one thousand one six six. Wrong. 
this is thousand, this is one thousand, one thousand. Right, correct. Okay, also, uh, let's add some blur. Um, let's wrap it. The map should be in the blur. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, let me undo that. Let's try right click, wrap it. Background blur. Okay. Oh, but I need the blur to take the entire area. So if I do this, then the map will be stretched. So let's wrap this one again with the border. Sorry, not a bird. Eh? Cannot span. And this one should take the entire area. Okay, now I'll set the blur to take the entire area. Okay, and canvas panel. Uh, this setting should be fine again the image which is map centered and thousand six 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 sorry thousand one hundred six six thousand one five one five zero zero okay so the black Crown blur, I don't see anything because I haven't added any blur strength. So if I make it one, make two. Now you may notice the blur. The reason I added blur is so when this map appears, everything in the background should be blurred out. Alright, now we are using this hard class called like me hard. Let me put that here. Uh, this is not used. Let's we have this BPI minimap blueprint interface, which um, I used previously for minimap related functions, but it seems I haven't used it anywhere. Let's see. Yeah. Right, so let's rename this to BPI map. Toggle map. Let's add the input in our Okay, now here. Toggle map. So if this is called with the true, I should make the map appear, else disappear. So if this is true, first we need to create widget from class of it. So here I am going to create this uh, map widget wdg map and promote this to a variable wdg map right and i should be only creating this widget if i am already don't have anything 
in this widget map so let me convert this to a validated get if this is valid we don't have to create otherwise we have to create okay so here add to view wait read out note then get widget map <coughs> add to view port and if we are following toggle map with the false we have to use the same get map widget node and then we have to check is in viewport if this is only if this widget is already in the viewport we should remove it so remove from parent and as I said we should be doing this only if This is in viewport. Okay, so to test this, um, let's go to the. Oh, we don't have a layer control. Okay. We don't have a custom player controller. Default third person character right here. Uh, let's define a new input. I can get a controller get hard double map so first time I press this I should bring the map open the map if I press again I should remove the app. So here, true. Sorry, not released. They said a flip flop. So that means first time I call it, it will execute A. Then if I call it again, it will execute B. So if I call again, it will again execute A, then B. So just like that, the output execution pin will interchange every time I call this flip-flop node. Okay, now press M. See, you get the map and the background is blurred, but it's not clear enough. Okay, so what can we do to make it clear? And also, we need to post the game as well. Set game post. Post. And also, we have to make sure that this function this input action is called executed when the game is paused also so 
so then if I press M you see now my inputs are not and my other inputs are not working anymore here I am pressing few buttons and moving the mouse but it's still not moving if I press M again that resumes okay so regarding making that a bit clear we can't really add a color here so let's wrap this with a border change the color to black or oh, sorry for the not content color brush color to black and opacity point two oh sorry again not the content the brush color Two. Right, it seems fine. Hmm. I can make it darker if I just increase this value. Okay, right. The next part is uh, displaying this in the map, displaying the character icons and checkpoint icons in the map. So, how to do that? So, for that, first uh, let me create another widget using user widget i'll call it wdg map icon just like this wdg minimap icon we uh, used for minimap so here let me open let's add a canvas panel And then let's set one of these images, maybe this one or oh, this one. This is no, oh. this one should be fine. Mm, size so wait. First, I'll set the anchor to the middle alignment 0.5 by 0.5 position 0 by 0 size 40 by 40 should be enough and uh, I'll name this icon in the graph I'll create new custom event init mm, icon so here I'll get the icon set brush from texture oh soft texture sorry set brush from texture and let's get the texture as a parameter 
and also we need to set the location but to get location we need the slot as canvas slot and then set position let's set the position also as a parameter and compile also we need to set the size that also a parameter Alright, uh, now if I oh, hold on a second. So, actually, this uh, position. So, here let's give the world position. Then We have to multiply it. Wait. From this ratio. divided by 3000 0.33333 the reason is uh, in this map we have size 6 this one or oh, wait oh yeah and size say this one so this ratio comes from uh, this such as I said before this top right is 3000 by 3500 sorry 3500 by 3000 and this one is 0, 0, 0. so that's where it ratio comes from so multiply it by okay so now the next part is when we in the heart when we show the map and when we add the map to the viewport here we need to update the relevant map icons as well so for that we need a way to get the icon and the locations of these checkpoints and the characters so for that we may need another interface so on the blueprint 
so print interface bpi map by item get map icon data so this one should return the location and uh, a texture that represents this texture so texture check reference icon what is size size is uh, vector 2d icon size okay now let's implement this interface first here in a checkpoint so class settings add bpi map item and interface icon data we can return get tactile location and then as the icon we can return the texture and as icon size we can return the icon size which i already have uh, implemented into the checkpoint so now when i toggle map here uh, let's add another function or custom event update icons wait no need to have it as a different function we can do it here itself so let's add the reroute node by double clicking and collapse these nodes Icons. right now here uh, let's get all actors with the interface right so as the interface I'll select BPI map item now for all these actors let's run up for each loop and then we can for each item we can create widget using map icon and then here we can initialize the icon for the initialization data we can get like map icon data the icon directly goes into the texture hold on this is texture object this is texture 2d mm -hmm. so then we have to change this to texture 2d
the checkpoint, it works fine. Yeah. Oh wait. Texture to D. This is texture object. Ah. Compile again. What is that? Change this to texture to DS. Ah, maybe it took some time to update. Okay, and the icon size directly goes into in size location. It, ah, it is converted. All right, and then. Uh, we need to add this to add this to the viewport but here i am updating the icon before adding the map to the viewport so i think these two should be interchanged otherwise these icons may be covered by the map Okay, this is not final, but let's see what happens now. Hmm. This one is here. Ah, uh, all right, right. So, actually, this X and Y. This way it's X. This way it's Y. But that's not exactly the way the coordinate system works in here. Here, zero, 00 is the middle. If you want to go below that, you have to Y position becomes positive. So this is uh, corres uh, corresponding to the X position and here it has to go negative. Okay, so to test this, let me copy this and go to the map, paste. Okay, so this is zero zero zero. Uh, but why is it? This is the middle, and if you want it uh, here, oh, let's test the zero zero location in the world space. So minus five hundred, minus five hundred. No. Minus five eighty four and minus so this one should be five hundred, yeah. Minus five eighty four. Actually this is uh, not five eighty four, this should be minus five eighty three. The reason is the scale here is 1166 and then half of that is 583 okay so that means the location should be calculated like this here 
copy that and split and also split this and uh, subtract sorry this one here we should have 583 minus whatever the value we get here and that should go to y position similarly 500 now y position minus 500 that should go to x position great now we this working is it oh no wrong this was disappeared uh, here not on top of this circle so something is wrong in our calculation what is it right this should be 500 this should be 583 okay now it is working see now you have the house icon here and checkpoint a here checkpoint b here uh, this is the test icon so the next thing i want to do is add in the player icons and these uh, enemy icons so for that so to show characters this is the icon we use mm -hmm. okay so now so now for this npc characters i have added this minimap icon component uh, which i implemented here so can i implement ppi map item here okay right then ah get owner get world location get to location and icon size we can directly use icon also we can directly use so let's see no it's not working the reason should be uh, this is a component not an actor this is a component but in here we are using get uh, all actors with interface so do we have the same thing like get all component with interface no all right then that means um, we have to implement that event this event or this interface in the character itself so let me remove this okay and instead of implement the adding the interface to the npc let me go to the third person character which is the parent character parent blueprint and add it here ppi map fighter so but the third person character don't have this uh, minimap icon component so therefore uh, it would be a better if i just 
copy this and paste here and then remove this component from the npc character why can't ah right is working properly yeah it does and also we have this red icon for the player mm. for the player let me overwrite that because the icon should be different for the player so we can simply use this black icon I have for the player and for the NPC I can still use the red icon because they are enemies okay now we see the player in black and others in red in the minimap uh, but still we didn't do anything regarding the bigger map so to make it work what we have to do is ah we already added the map icon okay then under interfaces get map data we can get this minimap icon component get icon put it here put it here and location get that location now it should work see now here we have the player and the enemies are here but their rotation is not set the reason is we didn't really consider that <laughs> so yo rotation yo this should be a float and Here for the character, this is this changes from zero to one hundred and eighty and oh, zero to the hundred and sixty. Okay, Actually no, it uh, actually changes from in the runtime from 0 to 180 and negative 180 to 0. So here no not here. Mm. Yeah. Rotation. Angle. It's the same. So we need to the set angle how do we 
set it uh, set angle set render transform angle This should come as a parameter. Now in the HUD, we can with the rotation U and put it into the angle, uh, but rotation U should be calculated here. It dot uh, rotation split. Connect. For the jet points, this rotation doesn't matter, it only matters for the characters. Okay, I think it works. Yeah, yeah, see, it is working. Oh, <laughs> I totally missed that, so we can still see these icons in the screen even after I remove the map so and also I think they are recreated again and again every time I toggle the map so we should destroy them I think so how can we do that um, here so this is a widget object. So let's add uh, icons. Map icons. Widget. User widget objects I'll convert this to a uh, array map icons add every time I add them to the viewport I'll, I, I'll add this uh, add a reference to this array and when we close the map <coughs> let's get this for each that here clear the map icons okay now let's see cool. right now they are not there anymore oh wait a minute why is this why do they have an angle? Okay. I think I rotated it. No. How come they have an angle then? It's zero. I 
Exit.ad I honestly have no idea why they are rotating because I am putting 0 there Does it have anything to do with the player rotation? That's odd. Uh, in the checkpoint, in this get map icon data, let's make a little float and put zero there just to see if this that solves the issue. I think it does. Yeah. Okay. Now it works fine. Alright, one more thing. I think I want to make the player character a little bigger. So, mm -hmm, 60 by 60. NPC should be still 30 by 30. Okay. Wait. Alright, so here we can stop this episode. So everything works as intended. <laughs> and thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.